Oh, hey everybody, man. Sometimes I wonder, you know, why do I do, why do I do the YouTube channel to review movies? And this movie is exactly why I do the channel because, you know, if you were to meet me, like in a social setting or a workplace, I'm pretty quiet, actually. But I want to talk, I want to tell people about stuff. And Dinner in America is a movie I want to talk about. But I got a package. I just found it. Let's see if I can open this. It's from uh, my good buddy, Patterson, who used to live in San Antonio. Jesus Christ. But he moved, he moved to, uh, Moved to Maine. Maybe I'll cut myself for I'm doing this, but he moved to Maine and he sent me a package. Let's see what he sent. And I'm gonna talk about dinner in America, but I Let's see what he sent. Holy holy he wasn't, he wasn't joking when he, he sent me copies of his zine that he did. Of, whoa. So what you're hearing is Rapture, Crimes Against Humanity. They're a Greek thrash band. They're awesome. I, I, love, I love them. And they're just like, I was like, what should I listen to for this review? Holy. He sent The Believers. It's all VHS. Samurai 2? What the hell is this? Oh, dude. I've been wanting Dark Man. I don't know, I don't know why I don't have it already. But dude, that's the bell of the ball right there. Hey, effects. I have part two. I, I think I might have part one, but if I don't, oh, oh the killer shrews. And hey, some scholarly brothers and whiskey Joe. Button, a button, seasonal menswear classics. And here's his uh, taco rat number two. Damn, he printed my ad. Looks really, I mean, I, I didn't do good, but the way he made it look looks good. So can't wait to delve into this. And if hell, dude, if you want a copy of Taco Rat 2, just uh, leave a comment, message me, email me. I'll put my email. So this is just great that uh, I got this, and I'm gonna talk about dinner in America. So I heard about dinner in America from uh, Red Letter Media. And uh, at first I was like, what do they keep talking about this Kyle Gallner dude? He's in Smile. And he was pretty good. I, I actually, like, I know, so this guy's like a, like a third-rate De Niro, a wannabe type character actor. But uh, Dinner, Amer Dinner America, it's just it's punk rock. It's just, it's just like, the, it's a punk rock movie. So his character, Simon, it starts out like, to me, I thought he was in a mental institution, but I think he, he, he volunteered to be in like, where they test drugs on you. And have you ever done that? Or no, I, I, my friend, he's, he's done that. 
We had to stay at this place for uh, like a week, and where they t they tested drugs on him. And then, and when he came back, like a perfect rectangle on the side of his head of hair fell out. Anyway, he's in this place. He gets out. He meet, there's a girl. Oh yeah, it's really gross that she's she's drooling and, and slobbering and like like they're hitting on him. Then he meets her outside and she takes him she takes him home to her, like, to her parents' house. They have dinner and then he starts messing messing around with the mom, played by Leah Thompson. I thought she was gonna have a bigger role. And she's just in it for like she's in it like the first eight minutes in the movie. Gets into a fight with her son and her and her husband. And that was really funny. And uh, he, he just seems like a real jerk. Do not you do not like him at first. And then he's like a criminal. He sells drugs. And then he meets this girl. I think Patty is her name, played by Emily Skeggs, and she is amazing. Like she really seemed like this is how she is. And then I forget, you know, she's an actress. This this is a role that she's doing. And she's great. She's just real awkward, nerdy. Uh, just... She's just stunted. Like, she's never been allowed to, to express herself. And, like, she loves... She loves this band called PsyOps. And she'll go in a room and she'll put the tape on and she'll just like, she'll just go crazy and just thrash around in a room. I was watching it with Garth and he was all like, who hasn't done this? And then, but then she, uh, she has a Polaroid camera and she jumps on her bed and she lies and like, she masturbates and takes a picture of herself. And I was like, well, never done that. But, uh, maybe I'll try it. But uh, yeah, she takes pictures of herself masturbating and she sends them to the to the singer of PsyOps uh, John Q and I was like man there's a like, you know because I do a lot of mail so I was like dude she's mailing letters she's listening to tapes and she's uh, just, just all analog like equipment that she uses to to express herself and then uh, through like chance she meets uh, Kyle Gallner's character Simon they begin a very weird awkward relationship and then she finds out that he's that he's actually the singer of PsyOps her favorite band and uh, to tell you anymore I don't want to I don't want to spoil ruin it but I just I loved A Dinner in America and uh, maybe like it's a little long it's like now it's almost two hours. It's like an hour, and forty-eight minutes. Towards the end, I was like, okay. We can just kind of—I don't know where we're going with this. There's really, no. It's not a horror movie. It's not a sci-fi action or exploitation. Just a movie that uh, was really good. That's the only like any fault. Maybe it could have been like it could have been like an hour, you know, fifteen minutes. I think it still got its point across. But I loved all of it. Um, even the, I don't know who did the music. Oh, it's directed, written and directed by Adam Ramier, who, who just put out a movie called Snack Shack. And I saw the trailer, I, the trailer came up and I was like, this looks like crap, I, this looks so stupid. But now that I've seen Dinner in America, I wanna see Snack Shack. And then he made the Bunny Game movie, which I have heard about. I heard that was terrible, real ex ex exploitative. But Dinner in America, I, I just want to tell everyone, you know, watch this movie. Like, even if you don't like uh, music, like punk rock, hardcore, metal, whatever, and watching it, like, it's like man, this just reminds me of like so many bands that I listen to. And yeah, Emily Skaggs uh, is, she, it's like both, it's Kyle Gallner's Simon, it's like 50-50 split down the middle, like this is both their movies, it doesn't focus, I mean it focuses on both of them equally, and, and it's really
really good. Uh, the way she gets picked on, there's these two guys that just say the meanest, nastiest, cruelest stuff to her. And I was watching, I was like, these guys are great. They're just going all out. They're being total uh, a-holes. And I was like, that's really awesome that they're able to just act like, they're just willing to, you know, show themselves as, as horrible characters. And then, you know, they're, and they're really good at it. So they should be commended too. And then what happens to them is great. Um, what else? Just, yeah, the whole, all the music band stuff uh, I really liked. Um, Patty, Emily Skeggs, her family. Yeah, her brother is, is so good too. I mean, I mean he's good. And he just has a little part in the movie. I guess that could have been left out, but... Because uh, when I saw him, I was like, oh, this guy's gay. And then when you find out like what he's about, I was like, oh, it's awesome. Um, but yeah, it just focuses on Simon and Patty and the, and the music. And like I already said, the music is really good. I was like, who's this, who wrote these songs? Oh yeah, and then she... They, they record a song together that, that, and uh, I asked Garth if I could talk about this like they brought Garth to tears and it, I, I I mean I didn't cry like a bitch but it made me happy like to see her expressing herself and there's a part that did make me sad where like uh, they, they're hanging out and and they go to an amusement park and he wins her this giant teddy bear and she's like, this is the best day I've ever had in my life. And I was like, oh, that's so sad that, you know, up until this point, uh, she's never had, like, a good day and, like, a happy day in her life. So that that was really good. So, yeah, Dinner in America, we watched it on Movie 7. I don't know where you could watch it. It's a movie that I want to see again. I, I want a physical copy. I want a DVD or a Blu-ray. Uh, I really enjoyed it, really liked it. And then... Uh, as a, like, at Den, the, 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 we started watching Promising Young Woman, but then his, we were watching, like, Garth connects his phone to his TV, and we started watching Promising Young Woman, which was, I thought it was really good too. Garth didn't like it, but then his phone conked out, and I was like, man, I really need to see Promising Young Woman. But if you have any interest in music, like uh, underground punk, whatever. Uh, you, you know, I think you would really like um, Dinner in America. I think any anyone would like Dinner in America. So uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, I give it right now in the afterglow of watching it. I give it four out of five. I loved it. I want to see it again. Uh, I think you should see it. So just see it, and I'll see you later. I got. It. Yeah, yeah. Taco Rat. It's totally in the spirit of everything. Uh, Rapture, Crimes Against Humanity. Check them out. They're awesome. Just right now, just um, it's late. I think this is one of the latest videos I've ever done. It's like almost midnight, which is very appropriate for the movie. And I'll see you later. later.